the new second generation Audi A5 Cabriolet has arrived in Australia. Compared to its angular predecessor, it's an improved vehicle in every respect. Except one, the exterior design. I think it looks, well, a bit sour. It doesn't have the urbane polish of its predecessor, nor its clean lines. Now to the positive stuff. The five layer cloth roof provides excellent insulation from weather and noise. It can be opened in 15 seconds while moving or stationary. You can even pop the top remotely with the key fob, which is a really cool party trick. Audi's made a number of improvements with the new A5 Cabriolet. This one's a little stiffer and it handles better than the previous model, which had a bit of flex in the body. It's also quieter and more efficient. The flagship Audi S5 Cabriolet rides on sexy new wheels that help draw the eye away from its awkward snout. It's powered by a lusty turbocharged 3.0-litre V6 and pumps through an 8-speed automatic transmission and quattro all-wheel drive system. And it's faster than the love child of Usain Bolt and the Flash. It's crazy quick off the line and has a top speed of go straight to jail, do not pass go. The less exciting 2.0-litre quattro model is expected to be the top seller and although it has less power, it's still a lot of fun to drive. All models get the cool virtual cockpit, which is a fully digitised instrument display, and it's got loads of driver aids that will steer, accelerate and even brake for you. Leather seats, Apple CarPlay and even neck level heaters which are integrated into the seats are also on offer. It's packed with loads more standard features now and is more affordable than its direct rivals, the BMW 4 Series Convertible and Mercedes-Benz C-Class Cabrio. Okay, so the Audi A5 Cabriolet is not really my cup of tea, especially the look. But let's not take away from the fact that this car is an accomplished performer in every respect.